I was born in, in I was born Soviet in 1977. I, I, I was born Soviet and everybody knows Soviet school of figure skating is the best school. And I was three and a half years old. My grandmother took me to the rink and I loved it so much. And then by the age of seven, eight, I knew this is what I want to do. I did know that. So when my mother passed at 13, I was alone, but I hold on to my skates. And they took me all the way to the top. What's going on right now? Everybody is supporting what's happening in my country. The whole world is behind Ukrainian people who are dying for no reason in, on, in Ukrainian land. Nancy Kerrigan, a few days ago, on February 26th, that was the anniversary for me winning the gold medal for the country of Ukraine, came out publicly and said, girl, I'm thinking about you and all the prayers to the people of your country. And that was the second or third day when the inv invasion happened. And by the end of the day, because I was crying for the first of couple of days, I, 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 don't, I don't like the word shock, but I am in disbelief still. And every day it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse what's happening on the Ukrainian soil, on the Ukrainian land that till yesterday, I, I was able to get in touch with my people back in Ukraine for the first couple of days. And in the last day or so, it's just not possible, especially right now in Kharkiv, the city of Kharkiv is completely bombed. It's, 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 it's just so sad. It's, I, I am in disbelief. I've been asked a question. Do you still have family and relative there? And I said, yes, I do. Because everybody knows sportsmanship is a big, huge family around the world. I hate being political, but People have to understand. One week ago, Kharkiv, the city of Kharkiv in Ukraine was hosting a figure skating event for the juniors. So a lot of kids came to take participation in that event. And then war started happening, the bombing started happening. And and they just got stuck there for the first couple of days till they were able to find people and transportation how to send them back to their cities because it's unthinkable what's going on in Ukraine. It's, it's just not fair. It's, it's, I mean, normal, regular people who have done absolutely nothing to Russia, and we have been brothers and sisters forever. We are, we, we, are, we, we love each other, and what's going on right now, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be. There is a lot of people who are Russian-speaking people, I, uh, I have nothing against Russian people, and a lot of them, they're texting me and they're saying, we don't want this to happen, Daxana. This is not us. I actually called today to one of my really dear friends, and 
she was start crying on the phone and I said, why are you crying? And she said, because I have no words for what's going on there. I said, don't. When you will come to Las Vegas, I will give you the biggest hug. It's, it's the rally for everybody. The reason is why yesterday I decided to speak up for people because this morning I texted to Ukrainian community and I, I delivered the poster to them. And their response was, Oksana, please speak up for us. Please, we love to see the pictures. We enjoy knowing sitting in a bomb shelters that people care for us and they're there for us. That, that is the reason why I'm doing this rally. I just wanted to say thank you to Las Vegas because 28 years ago, that was my first stop in America. Yep, yep, and I was 16 years old and I was trying to gamble and then security came and said, I'm not allowed. <laughs> I didn't even speak English back then. I was like, what are you saying? <laughs> because cultural differences is very different in America and Ukraine. And people have to understand this is not a political statement I'm trying to make. This is a humanitarian statement. The reason is why, because the mothers and kids are dying right now. They are being bombed. And there is nothing more we can do other than being out there supporting them and being their voices. Well, Ukrainian people have their own national anthem and at 16, I stand up on the toppest podium and that national anthem played at the Olympic games for the first time. We have our own culture, we have our own songs, we have, that is, that is actually what they're doing right now because they were able to go back and forth to their apartments, now they're not able to because bombing is really intense. So some men, they have guitars and they're sitting in the bomb shelters with their pets, without food, without diapers, without medicine, singing the songs, trying to stay hopeful and cheerful. And oh, we have our own cuisine. Everybody knows borscht. It's Ukrainian traditional soup. So that's pretty much what Ukraine is. Ukraine Ukraine needs help right now. Ukraine needs prayers. Yes, absolutely. On Saturday at, well, first of all, for <laughs> Carlo, I'm looking for the word, what's the name of that building, sweetie? Yeah, call it City Hall. City Hall. Las Vegas City Hall. Yes, yes, yes. Yesterday, City Hall turned it lights to blue and yellow, to the national colors of Ukrainian flag. And when I did do see that, I said to myself, I'm gonna do the rally and I'm gonna invite everyone. And I just wanna thank them for their support. A lot, of, a lot of people, they're trying to get in touch and they're trying to plead for help. Uh, they're, they're saying, can we please get the numbers of the attorneys who we can get in touch with? So 
the refugee crisis in Ukraine is probably right now is the number one problem. And when I speak to my skating friends who are in Ukraine, they're telling me, Oksana, we can leave, we can go to Poland, we can go to Hungary, we can go to a lot of different countries right now. They will have to walk to the borderlines, but we don't want to leave our land. This is our homes. And they're pleading, they're, they're saying, they're asking of me to say, we're winning the war on the land. What they're doing is if they see tanks coming towards the cities, they're covering up uh, the entry to the city with their bodies, basically. They're standing and holding the tanks and they're pushing them back. So they're saying, would you be so kind to say we need no fly zone on top of the country because we are being bombed very heavily, heavily and every day it's more and more and more. And refugee crisis, I mean, they, I've said it before, they getting, they're running out of everything pretty much. Yes, yes, they, there are a lot, a lot of refugees, a, a lot of refugees, they, they do. So what I'm asking is, I mean, I'm still sitting and I don't know yet, but if the people cannot open their wallets, please open their heart and pray for them.